All right, beautiful. Thank you for joining me for a 75-minute uh, yoga class called Ghost Flow Yoga. We're going to follow the sequence of 26 and 2 yoga, but add in optional um, sun salutes and posture variations. Uh, this is meant as like a nice kind of uh, accompaniment to a regular 26 and 2 hot yoga Bikram yoga practice. As you may or may not know, uh, Bikram's teacher was a guy named Vishnu Ghosh, so we're calling this class Ghosh Flow kind of in honor of that lineage of yoga out of Calcutta, India. Um, if at any point something does not feel right for your body, remember that you can modify a posture, you can do something else, or you can skip it entirely. Yoga can be challenging at times, and that's okay, but we're never going to a point of pain, a point where we could cause harm to ourselves or others. For the sun, uh, sorry, we're actually going to start with two rounds of pranayama deep breathing, I'm getting ahead of myself. Bring your feet together, toes, heels touching nicely. Interlock your 10 fingers, cross your thumbs, glue your knuckles underneath your chin. Rock your weight into your heels. Relax your shoulders down away from your ears. You made it to class. Concentrate, meditate, and begin. Inhale, chin down and arms up. Breathe in through your nose. Lift your elbows up. Suck your stomach in. Fill up your lungs. Exhale, head up. Exhale through your mouth. H-A, sailing head back. Arms forward, elbows touch. Good, inhale. Elbows out and arms up. Slowly bring your chin down. Look straight ahead. Lift your elbows all the way up. Breathe deep, full lungs. Exhale, head up. Slowly push your head back. Look way, way, way back for the wall behind you. Arms forward, elbows touch, pointing forward. Inhale, head down. Breathe in through your nose. Down through your throat to the very bottom of your lungs. Exhale, head up. As you exhale, open your mouth wide like you're fogging up a mirror on the ceiling. Arms forward, elbows touch. Inhale, head down, every new inhale. You want to take in more air than the last breath to expand your lung capacity. Exhale, head up. The more you exhale here, the more fresh oxygen you can take in on your next breath, push the air out. Inhale, head down. So make this the deepest breath so far, breathing into the top of the lungs, middle of the lungs, bottom of the lungs, full lungs. Exhale, head up. In our day-to-day -day life, we don't really um, use the full lung capacity, but the lungs need to be worked out like any other part of the body. Inhale, head down. Slowly bring the chin down. Palms face the floor, wrists straight, forearms strain the face. Exhale, slowly tilt your head back. Squeeze your palms together, wrists together, forearms, elbows touch. Inhale, head down. So slowly chin down, elbows up, stomach in, take in more and more and more air. Exhale, head up, slowly push your head back, slowly exhale, completely empty your lungs, elbows touch. Inhale, head down, last breath in the first set, spine a little longer, elbows a little higher, lungs a little fuller, suck your stomach in, breathe deep, full lungs. Exhale, head up, take your time, eyes open, hips forward, legs locked, stomach in, keep exhaling, push, squeeze, elbows touch. Change, arms down, you can roll out your shoulders and head. Second set, feet together. Interlock your fingers, switch the grip, other thumb, pinky finger on top. Bring your knuckles underneath your chin like glue. Squeeze your thighs, squeeze your butt, stomach in, grow taller out of the base of your spine, and begin, inhale, chin down and arms up, breathe in through your nose, lift your elbows up, suck your stomach in, fill up your lungs. Exhale, head up, exhale through your mouth, slowly push your head back, stretch your arms forward, keep exhaling, elbows touch. Inhale, head down for one, two, three, four, five, six, full lungs. Exhale, head up for six, five, four, three, two, elbows touch, one. Inhale, head down, use the full six seconds to inhale, take in more and more and more air. Exhale, head up, use the full six seconds to exhale. Synchronize your breath and your body movements, elbows touch, lungs empty. Inhale, head down, keep the weight in your heels, Thighs contracted, glutes contracted, stomach in. Exhale, head up, weight stays in the heels, hips a little forward, hip muscles contracting, arms forward, elbows touch. Inhale, head down so the lower body stays still like a statue, just the neck and arms move, look straight ahead. Exhale, head up, as you exhale, just your head drops back. Make sure you're not leaning back or sticking your butt out, keep the chest lifted, spine straight from the side. Inhale, head down, let's do two more breaths in the second set. Bring your chin down, can you bring your elbows back as well as up? Exhale, head up, can you grow taller even as you exhale? Look back, arms forward, keep exhaling, elbows touch. Inhale, head down, last breath, second set, deepest breath of your life. When your lungs are totally full, surprise yourself, take in one more sip of air. 
exhale, head up. Take your time. Let everything go through the exhale breath. Any worries, any cares, let them go. Be here now, elbows touch. Change, arms down. We'll continue with Ardha Chandrasana with Padasasana, Half Moon with hands to feet pose, feet together. Inhale your arms over your head, sideways palms together. I'm gonna adjust my camera angle a little bit. Interlock your fingers, release your index fingers, cross your thumbs, nice tight grip. Stretch up out of your waist and bend right and left, right and left. Every time you pass through the middle, reach up a little taller, like you're trying to touch the ceiling. And when you can't stretch anymore, come to stop in the middle, bring the weight into your heels, push your hips a little forward, squeeze your palms together, head and arms back, touch your biceps to your ears. Inhale, breathing, stretch up out of your waist, try to touch the ceiling. Exhale, breathing, absolutely straight line, slowly bend your body to the right. Without bending your elbows, without bending your knees, continuously push your hips to the left, looks good. Beyond your flexibility, you're creating a tremendous stretching feeling on the left side of your body, all over, inside out, bones to skin, fingers to toes. Bring the weight back into your heels, push your hips a little forward, squeeze your palms together, upper body back, touch your arms to your ears. Push your left hip a little forward, get your two hips in line. Now bring your right shoulder forward, open your chest like a flower petal blooming, come down, push, 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 change, inhale to come up, stop in the middle, hips forward, arms back, inhale, big stretch up, exhale, slowly bend to the left as you press your hips to the right, still breathing in and out through your nose. If at any point in class you find that you're like holding your breath, you can't breathe or you have to breathe through your mouth, that's a sign to do a little bit less. Contract your quadricep muscles, squeeze your gluteal muscles, pull your abdomen in, touch your biceps to your ears, inhale, lengthen the arms and legs, exhale, push, 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 change, inhale to come up, first back bend of the day, take a deep breath, full lungs, keep your eyes open, relax your head back as far as it goes, you can give your head a gentle shake, look for the floor behind you, squeeze your butt, lift your chest, and immediately bring your arms back with your ears, try to touch the wall behind you. So full spine back bending from coccyx to the neck, lower back, middle back, upper back, bend your total spine back bending, keep the weight in your heels, lock your legs, Push stomach, thighs, hips, everything forward and bring your arms back, look back, fall back, way back, go back, more back, change. Inhale to come up, big stretch up. Exhale, bend your knees, fold. Hinge at the hips as you go down, hands to floor, relax your head and go for a walk, move your hips, shake your head. This is a U-turn from back bending to forward folding. At the beginning of class, your spine might not be quite warmed up yet. Move your hips to get your lower back nice, relaxed, comfortable, easy, flexible. Pada stops my hands to beat pose. Bend your knees halfway. You can grab the backs of your calves, your Achilles, or your heels from underneath. Step on all 10 fingers. Pull on your heels, roll your weight into your toes, and lift your hips up. Stretch your upper body down from the lower spine to the floor. Pulling is the object of stretching. You're trying to create a tremendous stretching feeling on the back of your body, all over, inside out, bones to skin, fingers to toes with a smiling, happy face. Keep pulling, keep stretching. Roll forward, lift your hips up, stretch your spine down. On your next inhale, release the grip from the backs of your legs or heels and lengthen it to a halfway lift. We're gonna flow into a little bit of a sun salute. So you can have your hands on your knees, your thighs, your shins, or even the floor in front of you. Exhale through your nose, bend your knees, put your hands on the floor, shoulder with distance, and step back into a high plank or tabletop position. Look forward. On your next exhale, hug your elbows in and lower down halfway. Inhale, push up into a back bend. You can do um, up dog with arms straight and thighs off the floor, or cobra with elbows bent and thighs on the floor. Exhale, tuck your toes under, lift your hips up for down dog. You can bend one knee, straighten the other, pedal out your legs, and then press your heels to the floor, hips to the ceiling, drop your head, look for your thighs behind you. If down dog is not speaking to you though, come down onto your knees instead. Sink your hips down as you reach your arms forward, taking a nice child's pose. Feels so good today. On your next inhale, hands to the floor, Look forward, step forward, lengthen halfway. Exhale, fold, relax your head. Inhale, arms to your ears, hands together, reach to rise, lift up, look up. Exhale, arms down. Let's do that again, feet together. Inhale, arms overhead, sideways, palms together, interlock fingers, release index fingers, cross the thumb, switch grip, other thumb, pinky finger on top. Hips forward, arms back, inhale, stretch up. Exhale, slowly bend to the right as you press your hips to the left, still breathing, still stretching. Use your right side torso so you don't collapse, right? You want to keep the chin away from the chest, engage your lower abdominal wall, push your hips to the left, stretch your upper body to the right, come down, push, push, push. Change, inhale to come up, 
Imagine you could lean against a wall behind you, stretch out nice and tall, and slowly bend to the left as you push your hips to the right, still breathing. Keep the weight in your heels, hips a little forward, upper body back, touch your biceps to your ears. Push your right hip a little forward to get your two hips in line. Now bring your left shoulder forward, open your chest like a flower, petal blooming, come down, push, push, push. Change, inhale to come up, stop in the middle. Second heart opener, keep your eyes open, drop your head back, squeeze your tush, lift your chest and bring your arms back with your ears. Pull spine back, then they pull from the body, stretching. Keep the weight in your heels, lock your legs, push stomach, thighs, hips, everything forward, arms back, fall back, way back, pull back, more back, change, inhale to come up, stretch, exhale, pull, hands to floor, relax your head, go for another rock, move your hips, shake your head, notice what's a little bit more loose in the second set, it's still kind of tight or tender, there's no right or wrong there, second set, how to sauce my hands to feet pose, bend your knees halfway, you can grab the backs of your legs or your heels from underneath, step on all 10 fingers, pull on your heels, Roll your weight into your toes, lift your hips up. Try to touch your elbows together behind you, elbows to calf, shoulders to ceiling, belly button to spine, stomach in, eyes open, keep pulling, keep stretching, keep breathing. Pull on your heels, roll your weight into your toes, lift your hips up, push your knees back, try to lock your lift. Good, change. Inhale, lengthen into a halfway lift, chest forward, shoulders back, neck long. Exhale, bend your knees, put your hands on the floor, step back into your plank or tabletop, and let's hold here for a moment. If that um, chaturanga, that lowering down to back bend does not feel good for your body, skip it, go straight from your plank or tabletop directly into your down dog or child's pose. Otherwise, hug your elbows in, lower down halfway. Inhale, come up into your back bend. Again, if you're doing up dog, thighs off the floor. Exhale, lift your hips up for down dog or sink your hips down for child's pose. And there will be lots of opportunities uh, to try these vinyasa, these sun slits throughout class. Keep in mind, you know, maybe you do a child's pose in one of them and a down dog in the other, or maybe you plank one time and tabletop in another. There's, there's nothing that says you have to do like the same version every single time. So don't be afraid to play around with it. On your next inhale, look forward, step forward, lengthen halfway. Exhale, hold. Inhale, reach your eyes, lift up, look up. Exhale, arms down. We're gonna do that one more time, going pretty fast. Feet together, arms up, palms together. This time, just cross your thumbs, so palms are flat. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, drop to the right for five, four, three, two, one. Change, inhale to come up, stretch up, and drop to the left, breathe. Lock your knees, lock your legs, push, change. Come on up, Set third heart opener. Keep your eyes open, drop your head back. Squeeze your butt, lift your chest, and bring your arms back. Change, inhale to come up, stretch. Exhale, fold, and right away, grab the backs of your legs or your heels from underneath. Pull on your heels, roll your weight into your toes, lift your hips up, push your knees back, try to lock your knees. Change, inhale, lengthen, halfway. Exhale, hands to floor, step back, high plank, keep exhaling, lower down. Inhale, your up dog or cobra. Exhale your down dog or child's pose. Remember that you can switch it up. Take an inhale to your nose. Exhale to your nose. Inhale, look forward, step forward, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms to your ears, lift up. Exhale, arms down. Beautiful, awkward, you could toss us. Step your right foot to the right about six inches, hip width distance, insides of your feet parallel. Arms up, parallel to the floor, tricep muscles tight, all five fingers together, thumbs with your index fingers. Reach your arms forward, suck your stomach in, bend your knees, sit back and down into a chair. Feet flat, spine straight, all of your weight in your heels. Sit down halfway only, hips into a chair. Suck your stomach in and lean your upper body back, depression to abdominal wall, contraction to abdominal muscles, suck it in, fold it in tight, bring a little bit more weight back into your heels, lift your chin up, chest up, lean back, fall back, way back, change, and heel to come up, keep your arms there, push your hips a little forward, spread your toes wide, Come up maximum on your tippy tippy toes, maximum like a ballerina. Stretch up, bend your knees, and sit down. I have a little bit of a toe injury, so I'm taking it easy in this posture and a few other ones. And if you're working with any sort of injury or illness, I encourage you to take it easy where you need to as well. Lift your heels a little higher, knees a little higher, sit down into a chair, but don't sit below a chair. Change and heel to come up, last part, still breathing. Squeeze your knees together, let your heels come a little off the floor, and slowly sit down. Take your time. Listen to your body. You can stop whenever you want or keep sitting all the way down until there's a half inch gap between your hips and heels. Squeeze your knees together and forward. Lift your chest. 
Re-engage your fingertips and change. Slowly come up, knees together, good, heels down, right foot back, arms and shoulders down. Second set, step your right foot to the right hip with distance. I'm gonna provide some fun variations in the second set. So if you'd like, you can bring your hands together at heart center this time. Puff up your chest, exhale, bend your knees, sit down into a chair. Option to stay here with your elbows wide or take left elbow to outer right knee and start to twist. So eventually thumbs are in the center line of your body. Move your hips a little to the left, look up towards the ceiling. Option to stay here or reach your right arm up and your left arm down at six and 12 o'clock. Push your elbow into your knee for leverage, turn and twist. Good, bring your hands back together and unwind. Let's do the other side, taking right elbow to outer left knee and twist. Thumbs in the center line of your body. Move your hips a little to the right, look up towards the ceiling. And if you'd like, bring your arms up and down. So right rib cage forward, left rib cage back, look up for your left thumb. Bring your hands back together, unwind and change. Push the floor away from you. Lift your heels as high as you can, stretch up and sit down. Normally we would lean back in the second set if you'd like lean forward and bring your hands back, palm facing each other, thumbs towards the floor. Lift your heels a little higher, knees a little higher, squeeze shoulders together, open through your chest. Change, balance challenge, keep your heels lifted, bring your arms up parallel to the floor, this is your counterbalance. Squeeze your knees together, let your heels come off the floor and slowly sit down. Take your time, listen to your body, sitting all the way down. If you're sitting all the way down today, you have healthy knees and you want to test your balance and control, try coming up one inch and hold. Come up one inch and hold and change. Slowly come up, squeeze your inner thighs together as you lift up. Good, heels down, right foot back, arms down. Eagle pose, Gararasana. Inhale your arms over your head. Exhale, swing right arm, under left arm, right under left, palms together, thumbs towards your face. We forgot a sun salute, but that's okay. We'll take it easy today. Pull your elbows down, bend your knees, sit down, keep your hips low, lean back and bring your right leg over your left leg. Do you like how I said we forgot a sun salute rather than I forgot a sun salute? My bad. Push your left hip a little forward, two hips in line, right shoulder a little forward, two shoulders in line. You want wrists over elbows, elbows over knees, knees over ankle, weight in your heel, sit down and lean back. Good, change feet together, arms over your head. Let's do the left side. Swing your left arm under your right arm. Palms together, thumbs towards your nose, pull elbows down, sit down, stay down there, lift your chest and bring your left leg over your right leg, left over right, cross twist and breathe. Move your right hip a little forward, left shoulder a little forward. If your foot is coming out, sit down more. If you're losing your balance, upper body back, knees to the left, upper body to the right, twist like ropes, sit down and lean back. Good, change, feet together, arms over your head. Second set, we're gonna do arms and legs at once. So swing right arm under left arm, right leg over left leg, under over. Push your left hip a little forward, right shoulder a little forward, sit a little bit lower, elbows down, breathe a little slower, upper body back at the end. Good, change, feet together, arms over your head. Let's do the left side, arms and legs at once. Swing your left arm under your right arm, Left leg over right leg, cross twist, breathe. Right hip a little forward, left shoulder a little forward. Now think right knee to right, left knee to left, right elbow to right, left elbow to left. Feel deep compression running down the center line of your body among all your major joints. Sit down and lean back. Good, change feet together. Inhale your arms over your head, going into a sun salute, look up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, high ass setback, high plank, keep exhaling, lower down. Inhale, your up dog or cobra. Exhale, down dog or child's pose. If you're doing down dog, try to get your heels to the floor. If your heels don't naturally touch the floor, you can always widen your stance. If you have tight hamstrings, you can micro bend your knees, otherwise press your thighs back. Inhale, look forward, step forward, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root your eyes, lift up. Exhale, arms down. Beautiful, party time. You can grab a sip of water if you want. Cheers, friends. <laughs> so we're, gonna, we're doing a few less sun salutes today, but that's okay um, because it's been a few weeks since we practiced this, so we're just easing our way back into it. That being said, if sun salutes don't feel good for your body, especially if you have like a wrist, elbow, or shoulder injury, sun salutes can be a lot. There's something called a half sun salute. It's a really wonderful large alternative. You can usually do like two half sun salutes 
while others do a full sun salute. I will show you two, uh, two rounds of that and you're welcome to join me as well. So for the half sun salutes, I'll show you from the side. And if you wanna join, you can. Inhale, bring your arms up overhead, look up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms with your ears, lift up. Exhale, arms down. Let's do one more. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, arms down. So that's a wonderful way to still get that folding, to increase the heart rate, to return to your breath without having to do like push-ups or anything else that can hurt um, a delicate arm joint. Okay, let us continue. Standing head to knee with standing bow. This is our balancing series. We're gonna flow head to knee to bow. Fun, shift your weight to your left leg, lock your left leg, lift your right leg up, you can point your toes, flex your toes, keep your toes flexed back the whole time. Option to stay here or as you're ready, round down and pick up your right foot. All 10 fingers interlocked, webbing to webbing grip. From start to finish, standing leg should be solid concrete, one piece, slant post, unbroken, you have no knee. If you know your left leg is locked, no bend, no wobble. Inhale, breathing slowly, gently. Lift your right leg up, stretch it forward until your right leg is exactly parallel to the floor. No higher, no lower, standing leg lock. Take a breath, kick your heel forward, flex all five toes back towards your face from the ankle. You're training your Achilles to stretch. If both legs lock, then bend elbows down. Touch elbows to calf muscles. One day, elbows go below the calf muscles. Lock your knee, lock your knee, lock your knee. Change. Arms straight, bend the right leg, lift up, point your right toes, standing bow. Bring your knees together. Right hand up, out to the right. Reach back without turning or twisting your wrist. Pick up the inside of your right foot at the ankle, thumb with your index finger. Bring your left arm up and back with your ear, right hip forward, knees together to start. Lock your left leg, point your right toes. Lift your chin, take a breath, stretch up. And when you're ready, slowly charge your body forward. Simultaneously kick your right leg back and up. Take your time. At first, just find a place where you can balance, breathe, and back bend. When you're ready, start to come down parallel to the floor. See the foot come directly over the top of your head. From the side, two heels in line. Kick back and up. In other words, two shoulders in line. Touch your chin to your shoulder. Shoulder blade scapula stretching away from the body. Body down more, leg up more. Kick, kick, kick. Good, change slowly with control. Kick yourself up, Whew. feet together, arms down. I don't know about you, but balancing on one leg for that long makes me makes my calf cramp a little bit. Not in a bad way though. Shift your weight to your right leg, contract inner thigh, outer thigh, lift your kneecap. You wanna use um, gluteus maximus and minimus, so make sure you're using your side seat of your standing leg as well. Lift your left leg up, flex your toes back. Should feel really good to flex your toes back after balancing on this leg for a while. Round down and pick up your left foot. All 10 fingers interlocked, even your thumb under your foot. So lock your standing leg, pull your abdomen in, flex your left toes back, relax your face. And when you're ready, lift your left leg up. Kick your heel forward, flex your toes back. It's a great way to stretch your calf and Achilles. If your standing leg is bending a lot, lift up your hip so your knee is over your ankle rather than your big toe. If both legs lock from the side legs, make an upside down L like Linda, lock your arms, puff up your chest, and then bend elbows down. Touch elbows to calf muscles, roll the shoulders back and down, chest down. One day, elbows go below the calf muscles. Change, arms straight, bend the left leg, lift up, point your left toes, knees together. Standing bow, other side. Bring your left hand up. Out to the left, reach back without turning or twisting your wrist. Pick up the inside of your left foot at the ankle, thumb with your index finger. Bring your right arm up and back, left hip forward, knees together. Lock your right leg, point your left toes, lift your chin, take a breath, stretch up, and slowly charge your body forward. Simultaneously kick your left leg back and up. And note that this side might feel different from the other side, right? It does for me, that's okay. You can stay in the setup, or when you're ready, slowly come down parallel to the floor. So from the side, two heels in line. Kick back and up. In other words, two shoulders in line. Touch your chin to your shoulder. Shoulder blade scapula stretching away from the body. Body down more, leg up more. Charge your body forward. Kick, kick, kick. Good, change slowly with control. Kick yourself up, feet together, arms down. Take an inhale through your nose, and then exhale through your nose. Okay, second set, shift your weight to your left leg, 
Squeeze your left thigh tight, lift your right leg up, flex your toes back, pull stomach in, and as you're ready, ram down. So you're welcome to stay here the whole time. If you've got a grip on your foot, you know your leg is locked, lift your right leg up. If both legs lock, bend elbows down. If elbows go below calf muscles, slowly tuck your chin to your chest. Put your forehead on your knee, and if that's easy, try to let go. One day the foot stays, pardon me, the head and the knees stay touching. Change, arms straight, in the right leg. Try to keep your chest lifted, point your right toes, knees together. Let's do arms and legs at once, standing bow. So bring your left arm up, right arm back, already opening to your chest and shoulder. Lock your left leg, point your right toes, lift your chin, stretch up, and slowly kick, stretch, breathe. Kick into your hand, stretch forward, breathe through your nose. Keep your chin and chest lifted, let the right shoulder relax back as you actively slide the left arm forward. Body down, leg up, kick, kick, kick. Good, change slowly, kick yourself up, feet together, arms down. Last one, shift your weight to your right leg using all the muscles in the standing leg to keep the bones and joints stable. Lift your left leg up, flex your toes back, pull abdomen in, ground down, pick up your left foot so the kicking foot is flexed. And when you're ready, lift your left leg up. So this is a compression posture. We are rounding our spine, squeezing our front, flexing the kicking toe, kicking foot. If both legs lock, bend elbows down, and then tuck chin to chest. Put your forehead on your knee. So head to knee contact, right? Compression to the abdominal wall, extension to the spine. Change, take your time as you reverse out. Uh, lifting up, point your left toes, knees together. Standing bow on this side, right arm up, left arm back at the same time. Lock your right leg, point your left toes, lift your chin, stretch up, and slowly kick, stretch, breathe. So in standing head to knee, we rounded the spine, compressed the abdomen, we flexed the kicking foot. In standing bow, we're pointing the kicking foot, bending the spine, and stretching the abdomen. These are complementary postures. Slide the shoulders apart, but try to keep the hips even. Body down, leg up, kick, kick, kick. Good, change slowly. Kick yourself up, feet together, arms down. Wonderful. Come to the back of your mat, tool it in Dasana balancing stick, feet together. Inhale, arms overhead sideways, palms together. Interlock fingers, release index fingers, cross thumbs and lean back. Step your right foot forward, shift your weight to your right foot, stretch. And when you're ready, come down like a slow moving seesaw. Arms, body, head, legs, everything eventually parallel to the floor. So from the side, body makes a T like Tom, not a broken umbrella, stretch. Stretch, stretch, change, nice. Left foot down, right foot back, looking good, big stretch up. Step your left foot forward, move your right hip a little forward, stretch, and then come down without letting the right hip open. So drop your right hip down, spiral your inner right thigh up, bring your chest down, chin forward, leg up, stretch. Change, right foot down, left foot back, arms down. You can do a second set of balancing stick or you can just keep coming down and try another posture called split arm that I will show you from the side. It's a little bit like standing splits. Feet together, arms overhead. This time, just cross thumbs, palms together. Step your right foot forward. Shift your weight to your right foot, stretch. And when you're ready, come down like you're going into balancing stick. Once you're down parallel to the floor, keep coming down, stomach to thigh, back then. So bring your chin and chest forward, touch your stomach to your thigh. Split your arms up and back towards the ceiling. Lift your leg up all the way to the ceiling. One day standing splits. Change, Whew. left foot down, right foot back, big stretch up. Step your left foot forward, shift your weight to your left foot, stretch, and when you're ready, come down. So keep your chin away from your chest. Once you're parallel, keep coming down, split your arms up and back. So squeeze shoulders together, open through your heart space, body down, lift your right big toe all the way up to the ceiling, lock both legs. Change, right foot down, left foot back, optional sun salute here, inhale, lift up, exhale, fold, inhale, lengthen, exhale, step back, high plank, keep exhaling, lower down, inhale, your cobra or up dog, exhale, your down dog or child's pose. Remember to switch it up, take an inhale to your nose, exhale to your nose, inhale, look forward, step forward, lengthen, halfway, exhale, fold, Inhale, lift up, look up, 
Exhale, step your right foot to the right. A nice big step, four feet minimum, arms down parallel to the floor for the separate leg series. Um, you can also pivot and face the long side of your mat if that helps you with traction. Turn your toes in, heels out, lock your legs, lift your chest, and swan dive forward. Standing separate leg stretching. You can always start with your hands on the floor in front of you. Eventually, you're gonna grab your feet or even your heels from behind. Roll forward, everybody play around with your edge. Roll forward, lift your hips up, push your knees back, lock your legs, catch your breath. Hips up, knees back, keep pulling, keep stretching, keep breathing, touch your head to the floor in between your feet. Good, on your next inhale, you're gonna look forward, put your hands on the floor in front of you and bring your feet in closer together. So depending on, the, uh, on your body proportions, you're gonna want between one to three feet between your feet. From here, bring your heels in and your toes out. So your feet make a V as in very good. From here, you're gonna bend your knees and sit down into what we call a Velasana garland pose or a yogi squat. So at first, maybe you're leaning forward with your heels off the floor. Eventually, you're gonna sit all the way down, heels to floor, place your hands together in prayer. And if this is easy, press the knees out, lift the chest up. So again, different body proportions. For me, a smaller step helps. But for some folks, you want like a bigger step in between your feet. Lift the chest up, eventually hips sink down towards the floor, crown of the head stretches up to the ceiling. This is a great hip opener. Um, it's, it's good for digestion. If you're a person who menstruates, this is also good for like, if you're having cramps, right? You can do this posture. Okay, bring your hands to the floor in front of you. Lift your hips up, turn your heels back out. So toes point forward, take a little bit of a bigger step. Bring your arms back out to parallel, change, slowly come up. We're gonna transition to triangle trikonasana. Turn your right foot out, left toes in, bend your right knee and lunge. Sit as low as you can, lean back and move your arms at the same time. You want a 45 degree angle from your ankle to the crown of your head. Look up towards the ceiling, touch your chin to your shoulder, reach your left arm up, stretch your right arm down, pull your abdomen in. Push your left hip forward and down. Push your right knee back with the help of your elbow. Now turn, twist upper body back like spine twisting posture. Lock your left leg, keep your left foot flat on the floor. Change, rotate your arms, straighten your right leg, right toes in, left toes out, two heels in line. Inhale, bend your left leg and lunge. You can take a bigger or smaller step if it helps you to sit down. One day left thigh bicep parallel to the floor. Lean back and move your arms, elbow in front of the knee. So if your thigh is parallel to the floor, elbow in front of the knee, your hips are still lifted, maybe just forearm in front of the knee, right? But the trick is you're never touching the floor. Look up towards the ceiling, touch your chin to your shoulder, reach your right arm up, stretch your left arm down, sink your right hip down, bend your left knee, push elbow into knee, turn twist, open your chest, lock your right leg, keep your right foot flat on the floor. Change, rotate your arms, straighten your left leg, turn your left toes in, second set, little bit different triangle. Turn your right foot out, Keep both legs locked, start to tilt to the right and come down. You can have your right hand on your knee, your shin, your ankle, eventually hand to the floor in front of your foot, left arm up, look up and stretch up. So this is a really great way to stretch the inner thigh. It's also a nice way to lengthen through the back. This is a posture um, my neck from time to time will like tense up. And this posture actually really helps because you're like really lengthening through the side body all the way up through the neck. Option to stay here or transition into Bird of Paradise. Bend your right knee, take your right hand in between your legs like you're trying to pat your own butt, drape your left hand behind you and see if you can catch your hands together. From here, walk your feet back together, which is an awkward process. Shift your right to your left leg, pull your abdomen in, and when you're ready, lift up. If you can stand all the way up, point your right toes, kick your right foot forward, press your hips forward, lift your chest, so believe it or not, this posture is actually related to triangle pose, right? Because we're opening through the hips and the chest in the same way. Change, bend your right leg, put your right foot on the floor, take a bigger step, undo that bind, take your right hand to the floor, straighten your right leg, left arm up to the ceiling, pull abdomen in, change, push your right foot into the floor to come up, right toes in, left toes out, other side, tilt to the left and come down, right arm up, left arm down, six and 12 o'clock, Eventually, fingertips on the floor in front of your left foot. Pull the abdomen in, look up, and stretch the crown of your head to the left side wall. Option to stay here, go to Bird of Paradise, bend your left knee, take your left hand in between your legs, reach your right hand behind you, see if you can catch your hands together. Walk your feet back together, heels close together, shift your weight to your right leg, 
pull your abdomen in when you're ready. Lift up, point your left toes, kick your heel forward. So lift your hips up, try to lock both legs, open your chest, breathe through your nose. Good, and when you're ready, bend that left leg, put the left foot back down on the floor, take the right leg out, undo the bind, left hand to the floor, right arm up, straighten your left leg, push your left foot into the floor, change, slowly push yourself up, left toes in, both toes point forward, head to knee, arms up, palms together, cross your thumbs, this is such a journey, pivot on your heels, you can face the back of your mat, turn your back toes in, move your left hip forward, one, two, three, four, five times, two hips in line, two heels in line, backside foot makes a 45 degree angle, stretch up, tuck your chin to your chest and go down, chin to chest, stomach in, round your spine, touch your forehead and knee together, front side compression, throat choked, eyes open, breathing normal, stretch your fingertips forward beyond your big and second toe, bring maximum weight to your front foot, right hip up, left hip forward, two hips in line. Push your forehead into your knee a couple times real quick, lock both legs, hands together, Change slowly up curl, chin to chest, arms to ears, head up last. Pick up your toes, pivot to the other side of the room, uncross your heels, turn your back toes in, move your right knee forward, right rib cage forward, palms together, big stretch up, and then chin to chest go down. You can squeeze your right glutes, press your right knee forward all the way down, chin to chest, stomach in, throat choke, thighs open, breathing normal. To bring your forehead and knee closer together, you can always take a bigger step. And bend your front leg, even push the floor away from you. Eventually, forehead and knee touch, but you're never forcing your body. Push your forehead into your knee, lock both legs, hands together. Change, imagine you're dragging your forehead up your thigh or chest, arms of ears, head up, last. Lovely. Pivot on your heels, step your right foot back, slowly. Oop, nope, sorry, my bad. Well, oh, slip shirt, sure, slowly arms down. Dang, I almost made it through that. I'm a little rusty. We're going to do second set a little different. Okay, <laughs> you're going to bring your hands close together behind you. At first, holding hands, eventually palms in prayer, eventually all hands all the way up. Second set, rather than head to knee, we're going to do pyramid pose. Step your right foot to the right, a nice big step. Pivot on your heels. So it's the same setup. You're going to turn your back toes in, push your left hip forward. But rather than rounding your spine, Keep your chin away from your chest and fold forward. Stick your butt out. Push your right foot down. Stomach to thigh, chest to knee, chin, nose to shin. Option to stay here or interlace your fingers. Release index fingers, cross thumbs, and lift your hands up towards the ceiling. Eventually, index fingers come forward, like one day your index fingers can touch your right big toe. Squeeze palms together, squeeze shoulders together, keep your chest open. Your hands are up and forward in a shoulder rinse. Bring your hands back down to the lower spine. Lock both legs, chin away from your chest. Change, slowly come up, push your feet to the floor, move your left hip forward as you lift. Good, pick up your toes, pivot, I'm gonna face you. Make sure your heels are in line, but not crisscross. Uh, crisscross heels will make it really hard to balance here. Turn your back toes in, move your right hip forward, stretch up, chin away from your chest, go down. It's a really great stretch to the um, hamstring half, right, on that front foot, stomach to thigh, chin to chin. Option to stay here or interlace fingers, release index fingers, cross thumbs, lifting your arms up and forward, squeeze palms together, keep your eyes open, breathe, just figuring out that balance. You have your hands up and forward in the rinse, bring your hands back to your lower back, lock your legs, chin away from your chest, change, push your foot into the floor as you lift up. Very nice, step your right foot back, right foot back, arms down, optional sun salute, inhale, lift your arms, look up. Exhale, bend your knees, hold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step back, high plank, keep exhaling, lower down. Inhale, your up dog or cobra. Exhale, down dog or child's pose. If you're hyper flexible, make sure you're not hyper extending your elbows or knees here. Most folks don't have to worry about that, but just make sure that it's like, Quadricep muscles engage, tricep muscles engage, push your knuckles into the floor, press your heels down. Inhale, look forward, step forward, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms of your ears, lift up, look up. Exhale, arms down. Wonderful, come to the middle of your mat for tree pose and then toe stand. This is our hip opening, lotus series. Shift your weight to your left leg, lock your left leg, and lift your right leg up. Heel to costume, 
Slowly, gently let your right knee drop down and back into a half lotus shape. Right hand up to the center of your chest, and if you can balance left hand. Option to stay here or take your right hand out to the right, reach behind you and see if you can catch your right foot with your right hand for a half bind. We'll play around with this at the end of class too. Option to stay here or bring your hands back together and start to fold forward. Toe stand, Padding Dusasana. Hands to floor, lean forward, lift your heel, bend your knee, sit down on your heel. Walk your hands back to either sides of your hips. Breathe through your nose. Left hand up to the center of your chest. Right hand up, palms together. If you've got the balance, maybe try sliding your right foot forward. So it'll look like this. Eventually bring that right foot back in. Not for me today. And when you're ready, change. Put your hands on the floor. You can come up on two feet or lift your hips up and straighten your standing leg and then press your hips forward to reverse out. Nice change, right leg down. Shift your weight to your right leg, squeeze your right thigh tight and lift your left leg up. Feel the costume. Let your left knee drop. And remember, this side might feel different. That's okay. You can bring one or both hands together. Option to stay here or try the half bag lotus on this side. Take your hand out to the left, reach behind you, eventually catch your left big toe with your left hand. Option to stay here or bring your hands back together, toe stand, start to fold forward. Hands to floor, lean forward, lift your heel, bend your knees, sit down on your heel. I'm not going to go all the way into this one, but I'll talk you through it. You can sit down on your heel, walk your hands back to either sides of your hips, lift your chest. Left hand and right hand. And if you can balance there, start to slide your left foot forward, kick forward. Stretch the crown of your head up to the ceiling. And then see if you can pull that left foot back in, reversing. Good. Change. Put your hands on the floor. Lift your hips up to straighten your standing leg. And when you're ready, lift yourself up. Good. Chin away from your chest. <laughs> Change. Left foot down. Last sun salute. Here we go. Inhale. Lift your arms. Look up. Exhale, fold, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hands to floor, step back, high plank, keep exhaling. Inhale, your up dog or cobra. Exhale, down dog or child's pose. Take an inhale to your nose. Exhale to your nose. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, look forward, step forward, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach your eyes, lift up. Exhale, arms down. Wonderful, good for you. Um, we are on the floor for the rest of class. Doing well on time. Okay, I'm gonna adjust our camera angle. Give yourself a high five or pat on the back and then turn around. How could I forget that? It's the most important part. Turn around, head to the front of your mat, feet to the back of your mat. Bring your heels together, let your toes fall open, arms down, palms face the ceiling, eyes open. Not closed, breathing normal. Take an inhale to your nose. And exhale to your nose. Feel your heart beating, right? Feel the breath coming in and out of your body. It's a beautiful reminder of how alive we are. Notice whatever thoughts are playing out across your mind, maybe any emotions coming up in the body. Give yourself permission to really be here in this moment, breathing in and breathing out. Hold on and you toss in a winner moving pose. Bend your right leg up, interlock your 10 fingers, grab your right chin, just below the knee, nice tight white knuckle grip. Pull your knee out to the right, down towards your shoulder, completely avoid your rib cage. Keep your head on the floor, look down the center line of your body and pull. Change, right leg down, bend your left leg up, pull your knee out and down. Try to keep your hips in line, right leg on the floor. If your right calf muscle doesn't naturally touch the floor, you can flex your right toes back to your face. Change, left leg down, both legs lift up, grab your elbows, each other. Give yourself a really big hug for coming to class today, good for you. Squeeze your knees together and down, keep your head on the floor. Without lifting your head, tuck your chin in a little bit, look down the center line of your body and breathe. Eventually, or in the future, when the bone joint skeletal system has improved, the whole spine from coccyx to the neck will be flat on the floor. Change, arms down, and eyes open. So 26 and 2 yoga, Bikram sequence of yoga, comes from a um, larger sequence of yoga by Vishnu Ghosh that's 84 postures. 
And in this class, we're playing around with some of those variations. We're doing some fun stuff from like with sun salutes, vinyasa. Um, and we're also trying postures that can like get us into um, maybe more like advanced asanas, right? So in the second set, if you'd like, we're gonna do a posture called figure four. That's a really wonderful way to open the hips. So um, one day you could do like pigeon pose or swan pose. Figure four, if you'd like, bend your legs so your feet are on the floor. Keep your left foot on the floor, lift your right leg up, touch your ankle to your left thigh. So if you look down the center line of your body, your legs make a four shape. From here, you're gonna lift your left foot off the floor, hug your thighs in towards your torso. And if you'd like, you can interlace your hands behind your left thigh and pull down. So this is a great hip opener. Um, it's, you might feel a nice stretch to your side seat, to your outer thigh. It's also a good stretch to the sciatic nerve if you have sciatica. Or if you know someone with sciatica, right, I recommend trying this posture. It won't necessarily cure it, but it's often a way to relieve some of that pain. Change, left foot down, right foot down, other side, keep your right foot on the floor, lift your left leg up, cross your left shin over, pardon me, left ankle over right thigh, and then lift your right foot off the floor. Hugging your thighs in towards your abdomen, keep your hips, shoulders, and head on the floor. If you'd like, you can interlace your fingers behind your right thigh and pull down. Noticing that this side might feel different. Change, right leg down, left leg down, and if you'd like, a happy baby, lift both legs up, bring your legs apart, keep your knees bent, see if you can catch the outsides of your feet with your hands. So I like to have elbows inside, uh, hands on the outside of feet, and from here you're going to roll right and left, back and forth, rolling out the back muscles. Oh, it feels good. Maybe as you roll to the right, you straighten your right leg and then come back to center. As you roll to the left, you straighten your left leg and come back to center. And this is also really good if that um, yoga squat that we did earlier um, was tricky for you. This is a great way to start to open your hips and knees in that direction without, you know, being in like a squatting position, right? So this is a nice, I keep wanting to say it's like a gateway and then that makes me think of like gateway drugs. <laughs> this is a nice gateway drug into <laughs> Velocita Garland pose. Okay, change arms down and eyes open. Next, we do a straight leg sit up if you have any concerns about your back. Skip this up, roll off to the side, meet on your stomach, otherwise lock your legs, arms over your head, cross your thumbs, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. Elbows to the floor, forehead to knees, nice turn. Lie on your abdomen for the spine strengthening series. Um, the same way that we flowed like uh, head to knee to standing bow, the same way that we flowed like stretching pose, to triangle to head to knee, we're also gonna flow the next four postures, the spine strengthening series together. Fun. Bring your chin forward, place your hands flat on the floor, just below your shoulders so your elbows point up, zip up your legs, toes, heels touch, lock your legs, look up, and lift. Stretch your upper body off the floor, use 100% back strength, come up halfway only, elbows stay bent, they make an L, a 90 degree angle, lock your legs, point your toes, squeeze your back, push your feet down, hips down, hands down, look up, chin up, chest up, stretch up, breathe up. Good, change slowly with control, lower down. Loka, Shalabhasana, chin forward, arm straight position. Rotate your arms to face the floor. You can keep your arms out to the side, or as you're ready, bring your arms underneath you. One day, pinky fingers touch. Lock your right leg, point your right toes, lift your right leg up to a 45 degree angle, half of 90. See the foot come directly over the top of your head. Lengthen and lift. Change, right leg down. Relax your right leg, lock your left leg, point your left toes and lift your left leg up. Press your knuckles down, shoulders down, triceps tight. Lock your left leg, point your left toes, lift your leg up, change left leg down. Third part, you're gonna tuck your chin in a little bit, mouth on your mat, neck long. Bring your arms a little closer underneath you, spread your fingers wide, zip up your legs, lock your legs, point your toes, roll forward, and lift both legs up, come up. Everybody come up, you can do it. Struggle a little harder, don't give up. Mouth down, shoulders down, squeeze your butt, lock your legs, lift your thighs up. Change slowly with control, lower down. Bring your arms out to the side like airplane wings for full locus, Purna Shalabhasana. Bring your feet together, toes and heels touch. All five fingers together, triceps tight. Lock your legs, point your toes, look up and lift. Arms, body, head, legs, everything lifts off the floor. So nice, like a 747 taking off, just your hip bones on the floor, the rest of your body's in there. So in Cobra, we lifted the chest. In locust, we lifted the legs, and in full locust, we're lifting arms and legs at once to really work into the spine. It's progressive postures. Lock your legs, point your toes, thighs up, chin up, chest up, look up, come up a little higher at the end. Beautiful, change, slowly lower down. 
So in all of those postures, the arms and legs were separate. Now we're gonna connect the hands to the feet, Dhanurasana floor bow. Chin forward, bend your legs, grab your feet from the outside, two inches below the toes, thumbs with your index fingers. Point your toes, squeeze your butt, look up towards the ceiling, and start to kick into your hands. Continuously keep kicking without stopping, without intermission. Roll forward once, freeze between your ribs and hips, hold still. Do little sips of air in and out through your nose. Bring your knees in, feet out, wrist straight, look up, kick, kick, kick. Good change, slowly with control, lower down. Look to your right, left here on your mat, arms down, palms face the ceiling, toes together, heels fall open. Take an inhale to your nose, and then exhale to your nose. Then gently lift your head and look to the other side, left ear on your mat, pardon me, right ear on your mat, looking to the left. So you're welcome to do second set as we did first set, or you can try postures, which are called like the full version of the posture. So we're gonna try, for example, like full cobra and full bow pose. It'll be fun. So second set cobra, here we go. You're gonna bring your chin forward, place your hands on the floor below your shoulders like normal, and then walk your hands back about four or five more inches so your thumbs are in line with your lower ribs. From here, bring your feet about mat width distance, Lock your legs, squeeze your butt, point your toes, look up and lift. So at first, think about bringing your elbows towards your hips, triceps tight. Option to stay here or straighten your arms. Now, as you straighten the arms, notice if the hips lift up and the shoulders tense. You wanna sink the hips down and push the floor away from you so the shoulders stay away from the ears. This is a deep back bend. Option to stay here or relax your head back. Option to stay here or really squeeze your butt, point your toes, bend your legs, and eventually head and toes touch. Good. From here, you're going to bring your feet back down to the floor, bend your elbows, change, slowly lower down. Lokesh Shalabhasana, chin forward, arm straight position. Rotate your arms, palms face the floor. From here, tuck your toes under and think about pressing, uh, locking your legs, pushing your big toes back so that you feel your upper body slide forward. And that's what we're going to work on in the second set is really sliding forward. From here, if you'd like, you're going to keep your toes tucked under, bend your knees, touch your knees to your fingertips. Keep your left toes tucked under, lock your right leg, point your right toes, lift your right leg up. So you'll notice that I can talk normally here. My weight is in my shoulders, not my neck. If you'd like, try locking your left leg, really feel the weight in your shoulders, chest. Change, left knee down, right leg down. Lock your left leg, point your left toes and lift your left leg up. And if you'd like, Lock your right leg, chin forward, look forward, change, right knee down, left knee down. For the third part, lots of options, especially if you have um, neck pain today, keep your chin down and your mouth on your mat to protect your neck. And you're just gonna try coming up with your legs apart and you might find that you can um, lift your legs up higher. Or if you'd like, you can try um, kicking all the way up to the ceiling with your chin forward. I'm actually not going to do that today just to be cautious of my neck, but if you've done it before, you know what I'm talking about, kicking forward with both legs up. Otherwise, mouth down, lock your legs, point your toes, and lift both legs up. And you can separate the legs, see if that helps you lift up more, and then bring the feet back together at the end. Change, slowly lower down. Furnish all of us in a full locust, arms out to the side, feet about uh, mat width distance. And if you'd like, um, full locust can actually be a fun way to get back into um, another version of full cobra we did earlier. And if none of what I'm saying makes sense, that's okay. I'm not doing a great job of explaining it, but all of these postures interact with one another. Okay. So feet about mat with distance, lock your legs, squeeze your butt, point your toes, look up and lift. So this time try to keep your feet on the floor. And if you'd like from here, you can come down and try clapping up. So it'll look like this. And eventually you're going to lift all the way up and go all the way back. Looking up, coming up and back. And change, slowly lower down. Get done or off snook floor bow. Bring your chin forward, bend your legs. You can grab the outsides of your feet, or if you'd like in second set, grab the insides of your feet, put your thumb between your big toe and second toe. And we're gonna try what's called full floor bow, which is um, incorporates a shoulder rotation into floor bow. Okay, point your toes, squeeze your butt, look up and kick into your hands. Option to stay here, or we're going to try that shoulder rotation. Bring the left elbow out and forward, right elbow out and forward. Drop your head, look for your uh, toes, floor bow. From here, you're going to release your left foot from your left hand, left hand down to the floor, look forward. Release right foot from right hand, right hand down to the floor, 
and then slowly lower down. Good for you. Okay, going back into our back into our savasana, our belly savasana. Look to the right, left here on your mat. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your nose. Flip your head and look to the other side. Right here on your mat. Breathing in. Slowly breathing out. The same way that we flowed the spine strengthening series, we're also going to flow the fixed firm series. Bring your chin forward, put your hands on the floor, push up. Come to the top of your mat for fixed firm Supta Vidrasana. These next four postures work into tightness in the toes, ankles, knees, and hips. So start in tabletop, open your knees, open your feet, and as you're ready, walk your hands back. You can keep your hands in front of you, beside you, or behind you the whole time until one day you can sit down between your heels. From here, put your hands on your feet, right elbow down, left elbow down, drop your head back, head to floor, tuck your chin in, back shoulders on the floor, arms over your head, grab your elbows each other and hold. You want a gentle stretch, but never a point of pain. And one of the fun things about flowing these postures is that you get to see how the um, postures interact. So in this one, the feet are apart, we're doing a back bend, right? In the next posture, the knees and feet are gonna be together and we're gonna do like a straight spine. In the next posture, knees and feet are apart, we're gonna back bend. And then the posture after that, knees and feet are together, we're gonna round the spine. So you get to see how both the lower body and upper body move in, in different but complementary ways in these next postures. Change, put your hands on your feet, press yourself up, cut up last, very nice. Come to the middle of your mat, half tortoise, sit knees, feet together this time, hips on your heels, arms overhead, palms together, stretch up, chin away from your chest, go down. So the spine strengthening series is all back bends. Eventually, um, fixed firm, that last posture is a back bend. So it's important here to stretch everything out. Arms are super active here, palms together, try to get elbows and wrists off the floor, reach your arms forward, sink your hips down to decompress the spine, stretch, stretch, stretch. Change, come on up, arms over your ears, chin away from your chest. Lift your hips, stand on your knees, open your knees, six inches between knees and feet. Put your hands on your lower back, camel, thumbs outside, fingers down to the floor. Push your hips forward, keep your eyes open, lift your nose, lift your chin, and one day head drops back. Option to stay here or go back halfway, freeze in the middle. Option to stay here or when you're ready, right hand down, grab your right heel, left hand down, grab your left heel, thumbs outside, fingers inside, full palm grip on your heels. Push stomach, thighs, hips forward, Lift your chest up, relax your head back, look for your toes behind you. Change, put your hands on your back, press yourself up, head up last, stretch up, bring your knees, feet together, and sit down on your heels. Now we're gonna round the spine, rabbit, slash, and basana. Knees, feet together, make L's with your hands like little bunny ears, and grab your heels from the outside, thumbs outside, fingers inside, full palm grip on your heels. Stretch up, tuck your chin to your chest, and go down. Take your time, right? Feel each part of your back moving. After spinal compression and camel, we go to spinal extension and rabbit, forehead to knees, top of head to floor, pull on your heels, don't lose the grip, lift your hips up. Um, it's the same grip as in camel pose, right? It's just you're moving your spine in the opposite direction. Squeeze your heels together, press your hips forward, lift your shoulders up, lock your arms, suck your stomach in, round your spine. Change, hips down, slowly uncurl, vertebra by vertebra, disc by disc, head up last. Very nice, turn around, savasana, head to the front of your mat, feet to the back of your mat. We're just gonna take it a little easy today. So sometimes we do a core strengthener here, but we're gonna skip it. Wanna make sure that we get out on time. Uh, and also we're just easing back, right? After a few weeks of it. <laughs> okay, legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. Great, okay, come to the top. <laughs> Where are we going? To the top of your mat, second set, fixed work. If you'd like second set, maybe try keeping your knees together. Just open your feet, sit down between your heels. If the knees wanna separate, let them. From here, put your palms on your soles, right elbow down, left elbow down, drop your head back, head to floor, tuck your chin in, neck, shoulders on the floor, arms over your head. If this is, um, if you like go into this posture every time, right, like you have good knees, good ankles, um, we're gonna 
uh, I'm gonna show you a way to like get a little bit more of a quadricep stretch or you just wanna be careful here. Keep your knees on the floor, squeeze your butt and lift your hips up. So the um, butt comes off the floor, but the knees stay down. You'll feel even more of a stretch along the quads. Slowly lower down, let's do that two more times. Squeeze your glutes, lift your hips up, lower down. Last one, squeeze your touch, lift your hips, feeling the stretch along the kneecaps and quads. Good, hips down, change. Put your hands on your feet, press yourself up, head up last, very nice. Come to the back of your mat. So second set, rather than half tortoise, if you'd like, you can try a wide-legged child's pose. You're gonna keep your feet together, but open your knees. Put your hands on the floor and walk forward. So palms to floor, forehead to floor. Rather than having the palms together and the knees together, Give the knees separated and the palms face down. It's a little bit of like a shoulder, a little bit of a different shoulder opener. Reach your arms forward, sink your hips down, re-energize, reorganize, revitalize, stretch. Change, put your hands on the floor, push yourself up. And then from here, lift your hips up, coming into camel pose. So second set, if you'd like, knees about that with distance, big toes touch. Um, you can do a second set of camel, grabbing your heels, or you can try full camel or some fun um, like drills to get you into full camel. So if you want, you're gonna bring your hands together at heart center. You're gonna look up towards the ceiling and essentially you're gonna try and high five the ceiling. So you're gonna reach your right arm up, pull it back in, left arm up, pull it back in, and then both arms up, you're gonna raise the roof. And from here, let your head go back all the way. And now you're gonna try and do the same thing with the wall behind you. Like you're trying to high five the wall behind you or almost play like patty cakes, but upside down. So dropping your head back, you're gonna bring your right hand back, left hand back, both hands back. So you're starting to work through the shoulders like patty cake, patty cake, baker's man. And eventually you're gonna go all the way back. Eventually hands to floor behind you. Eventually head touches toes. So this is full camel, the same way that there's like full um, full cobra, full bow, there's also full camel. These are all part of the same series. Okay, good. If you're in full camel, put your hands on the floor, lock your arms, squeeze your butt, change. Good. Okay, bring these feet together, sit on your heels, grab your heels. You can do a second set of rabbit pose, or you can join me on your back for shoulder stand if you want. If you wanna do shoulder stand, make sure you're somewhere where there's some room behind your head because eventually you're gonna lift your feet all the way up. Okay, so lying on your back, arms straight, palms face the floor, bring your arms underneath your butt, palms face down, bend your legs, lift your feet up. And from here, you're gonna play around with pushing your hands and shoulders into the floor and trying to lift your hips off the floor. Like you're trying to touch the ceiling with your big toes, just rocking back and forth, playing around with that momentum. And if you've got a good one, keep going, push your shoulders into the floor, lift your hips up, and eventually feet come to the floor on the other side of your head. This is called plow pose. If your feet are on the floor on the other side of your head, from plow pose, you're gonna bend your knees so that your knees touch the outsides of your ears. And this is what's called shoulder, pardon me, what's called ear pressure pose. Now, if the tops of your feet are still on the floor, if you'd like, you can grab your heels and pull down. Your pressure pose ends up looking an awful lot like rabbit pose. It's just on your um, shoulders rather than on your chest. From your pressure pose, you're gonna bring your hands back down to the floor, lock your legs, and if you'd like shoulder stand, bend your arms, place your hands on your lower back. So palms to lower back, squeeze your butt, point your toes, and lift both feet up towards the ceiling. Keep your chin tucked to your chest, this is shoulder stand. Give the ankles over the hips. So you want to move the hips forward. Good. If you're in shoulder stand, you're going to go back to plow, lowering your feet back to the floor. Put your hands on the floor and slowly unwind. Press the shoulders down as you slowly come out of it. And if you did shoulder stand, if you did all that stuff and you want to counter stretch, bring your hands back underneath your body, palms face down, fish pose, bend your elbows, drop your head back. This is a really great way to release that energy from um, tucking your chin to your chest so much. Fish pose is also a nice alternative to cobra pose if you're ever pregnant, breastfeeding, or maybe just ate like a big sandwich before class. Okay, if you're in fish pose, tuck your chin to your chest, bring your head back down, arms out, turn around, savasana, head to the front of your mat, feet to the back of your mat. 
So lots of stuff to play around with here. And just remember that it's um, it's all for fun, right? That's the whole, the whole goal is just to have a little bit of fun and maybe move your body in like a, in a familiar, but a little bit different way. Same, same, but different. Okay, legs together, arms over your head. Tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. Great, we're gonna go into um, our warm down series. We're gonna flow head to knee to stretch into spine twist. First set normal, right leg out, left leg in, two legs make an L. Inhale, arms overhead, big stretch up. Exhale, turn to your right, tuck your chin to your chest, put your forehead on your knee. Interlock your 10 fingers up to the webbing under the ball of your foot. Flex your toes back, bend your elbows down, pull your abdomen in. Left elbow down, left shoulder down, roll into the left. Change, arms up, left leg out, right leg all the way in. Big stretch up, turn to your left, tuck your chin to your chest, put your forehead on your knee. Um, to touch your knee and head together, you can always bend your left leg. Slowly over time, slide your heel forward. If your leg is straight, lock your leg, bend elbows down. Elbows to the floor, right rib cage down, left rib cage up. Change, arms up, both legs out in front of you. If you're skipping, sit up, stay here. Otherwise, lie down and sit up. Hashimotanasana stretching, I'm gonna show you from the side. Bend your knees, hook onto your big toes with middle and index fingers, peace sign fingers, thumbs on top. Scoot your butt back, right, left, right, left. Now keep in mind that um, Hashimotanasana is different from head to knee. These are different postures, even though we're flowing them together. So rather than rounding your spine and tucking your chin, you're gonna puff up your chest and try and flatten out your back. If you can straighten your legs here, lock your legs, stick your butt out and start to fold forward. So again, rather than like pulling and tugging, think about lengthening. Stomach to thigh, chest to knee, one day forehead touches toes. Good, change, stay seated. We're gonna float a spine twist, half, um, half Lord of the Fish Pose, Ardha Matsandrasana. You can keep your left leg straight or bend your left leg, touch your right heel to left knee. Right arm close behind you like a second spine, left arm up and over. Eventually grab your left knee with your left hand, hand, heel and knee touch. Inhale, stretch up, stomach in. Exhale, look over right shoulder twist. You can keep your right hand behind you for balance. You can also reach behind you and try to catch your waistband or eventually your left thigh with your right hand. Inhale, stretch up, exhale, look back, twist, twist, twist. Good, change, unwind, bend your right leg on the floor, touch left heel to right knee. Remember that you can also keep your right leg long in front of you. Take your left hand close behind you, right arm up and over, make a circle, push the knee out of the way, grab the right knee with the right hand, shoulders down, chest up. Inhale, stretch up, exhale, look over left shoulder twist. You can keep your left hand behind you for control or reach behind you, catch your right thigh, with your left hand for a bind, pull your abdomen in, keep your eyes open, inhale, stretch up, exhale, look back, twist in, twist in, twist. Good, change, unwind, turn around, Savasana, head to the front of your mat, feet to the back of your mat. Hmm. I can tell I did not drink enough water today. Noted, okay. Second set, same, same, but different. Legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. So second set, we'll try some other variations of head to knee and stretching. So if you'd like right leg out, left leg in, in our, in 26 and two version of head to knee, right, the legs are at a 90 degree angle, the hips are square. In the second set, if you'd like, you can bring your right leg out even more. So you're gonna feel an inner thigh stretch. Take your right hand outside of your right thigh and reach your left arm long overhead. Option to stay here, or if you can start to fold forward even more, so you're really stretching the left side body. And if you'd like, you could catch your um, right foot with your left hand, or maybe even both hands, right rib cage forward, left rib cage back. Try to keep your left hip, left knee on the floor. Good, and change. Come on up, left leg out, right leg in. Remember, you can bring the leg out even more. Take your left hand outside of the left thigh, reach your right arm long overhead, drop your shoulders, lift your chest, stretching the right side body. Option to stay here or keep coming down, keeping that right hip on the floor, right rib cage up. Flex your left toes back, catch your left foot with your right hand or even both hands. Good, feeling a nice stretch all along the right side body. Good, and change. Left leg out, keep your left leg out. This time, bring your right leg out for both inner thighs. Stretching, flex the toes back, stick your butt out, put your hands on the floor and fold forward. So in our version of stretching pose, right, we're stretching the hamstrings with the feet together. In this version, you're stretching the inner thighs with your feet apart in both. Rather than like rounding the spine, you wanna lengthen through the spine. Maybe eventually stomach to the floor, maybe even chest and chin to the floor. Haven't done this in a while. Ooh, feel the stretch. 
Okay, change. Put your hands on the floor, push yourself up. Spine twist, we have three options. Option number one, you're gonna do a half lotus. Straight, pardon me, option number one, you're gonna sit crisscross applesauce. Option number two, half lotus, straighten your left leg. Put your right thigh, pardon me, put your right foot on top of your left thigh, half lotus. Option three, lotus pose. Put your left foot on top of your right thigh. From here, take your right hand behind you, reach your left arm up, place left hand on right knee. Inhale, stretch up, stomach in. Exhale, look over right shoulder twist. You can keep your right hand behind you for balance. You can also reach behind you and eventually catch your right big toe with your right hand for a bind. Inhale, stretch up, exhale, look back, twist, twist, twist. Hmm, change, unwind. So if you're in lotus pose, stay here and pretty much every yoga school's version of lotus pose, the right foot is on bottom and the left foot is on top. If you are in half lotus, let's work out the um, knees and hips. So straighten your right leg, take your left foot to right thigh. And if you're sitting crisscross applesauce, sit with the other foot on top, which is like the weirdest sensation in the world, I know. Take your left hand behind you, reach your right arm up, take the right hand to left knee. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, look over left shoulder twist. You can keep your left hand behind you or reach behind you. See if you can catch your left big toe with your left hand for a bind. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, look back, twist and twist and twist. Good, change, unwind. If you're in lotus pose, try down lotus. Take your right hand behind you, catching right foot with right hand. Left hand behind you, catching left foot with left hand. So um, keep in mind that our version of tree pose earlier on in class, the last posture before we hit the floor, our version of tree pose is a half lotus shape. You're training your hips and knees to sit in lotus. And in our version of spine twist, Artemats and Drasna, um, wrapping your, trying to do a half bind, grabbing your thigh with your hand, like so, is practice um, for doing the bind in lotus. Change, unwind, turn around, Savasana. So what I love about 26 and two yoga is it um, is a beginner friendly yoga series. And it's really intended so that you always have a beginner mindset, which I love. Um, it's like a humbling style of yoga, right? We're always kind of viewing ourselves as beginners. Um, but also keep in mind that like, there's so many elements in that yoga that lead into more like advanced yoga asanas, whatever that means, right? So for example, we don't do bound lotus, right? In 26 and two, but all of the elements for that are in your practice. And there's a lot of things like that, that you might not like realize what you're kind of preparing your body for. Pretty cool. Legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. Wonderful. Come to the middle of your mat for our version of Kapalbhati Skull Shining Breathing. Sit knees, feet together, hips on your heels, hands on your thighs. If it hurts to sit on your feet, you can always sit on your butt, crisscross applesauce. Lick your lips, swallow a couple times. Concentrate, meditate. Don't forget to have fun. Here we go. breathing exercise, Kapalbhati breathing, but in all other styles of yoga, Kapalbhati breathing is actually done through the nose, not the mouth, and what we do is probably closer to what's called the strika breathing, so there's many different like, you know, breathing exercises throughout yoga. Um, second set, if you'd like, we can try Kapalbhati breathing through the nose, like other lineages of yoga do it, so you're just going to rapidly exhale through your nose as you pull your abdomen in, you'll feel your lungs kind of contracting and then expanding. Okay, sit up tall, swallow a couple times, lubricating the throat, inhale through your nose and begin. Five, four, three, two, one. Good for you. Honor yourself. Give yourself a hug. High five. Pat on the back. Turn around. Final savasana. Close your eyes. Open your arms and legs. Take up as much or as little space as you want. Really just take a moment to feel your body against the floor and let the floor hold you up. Take stock of all that you did today, especially in your yoga practice, right? Often, 
just showing up, making the time is the hardest part. And then from there, think back to all the times where like it was a little, you know, difficult, but you persevered. Or maybe the times where like you could have pushed yourself, but you consciously made the decision to like take it easy, right? These are all wonderful things. Well, patience, determination, and above all else, compassion for yourself, always. Take an inhale to your nose. Exhale to your nose. Breathe in. Empty out. And all is coming. 